guys, Bryson Park here. And today, I am showing you my top secret how to use bunker. Let's go. Okay, so when you first walk up to it, this is what you see. It just looks like a ton of blocks. And I tried to make um uh, this out of Legos, but I'm not a huge Lego person. And I wouldn't get this big anyway. So I was trying to make just a one car garage with Legos, but I don't even have that many Legos. So I did use Mega Blocks. Um, so this is what it looks like from the top. And that's, this is at my house, just at the front door right here. So um, this is what it looks like from the top. And then it's probably kind of obvious how you open it. Um, there's here. So, you know, you can kind of pull that, but the real way to open it is like that. And then we have a ton of cars here. So you can open this up like this. And then you have more of a view of the cars. So I'll explain in a second how, uh, what all the cars are. I'll explain in a second what all the cars are and stuff. But um, yeah, that's the top secret bunker. Okay, so when you open it up here, you open it up like that. And then this goes like that. And then you can see all the way to the back. Now it's kind of dark like there and you can't really see it on camera, but you can see the final one. So I'm gonna grab them all out real quick and show you starting from the back to the front. Okay, so when you pull them all out, the one in the very back is this one. This is a Range Rover Velair or something like that. If you read the bottom, you can't really see it on screen. Focus? No, no focus. It says V-E-L-A-R, so I, if I'm saying that wrong, just comment down below what it actually is, but that is the Range Rover Velair, and that's the only, like, Finley car, kind of, like a modern, everyday car. All the other ones are super or hyper cars. So the next car is the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. Oh, yeah. Top speed on this one is 170 miles per hour. Yes, 170. That's a fast um, car for an SUV. Lamborghini Reventon Roadster, top speed 200 miles per hour. Um, and as you can see, it's a Roadster, so clearly it's a convertible. Um, or I don't know if it's like in convertible, but the top can open. I don't know if it can shut or not, but that's what it looks like from the front. I really like the um, green and black. I think it just looks like really good together. Black and brown. And then the bottom, not that you care about that, but I like the rims too. And then next up, we have the 2017 Pugani Waira. Okay, sorry, I wanted to turn the camera around, but that's the 2017 Pugani Waira. It's um, red with that black stripe down the middle. I think it looks really good. Those rims look good too. Uh, top speed, I wanna say around 215. So it's a bit faster than most of them, but um, that, yeah, that's fast. That's really fast. <sighs> Boom, that's the Pugani Waira. Next up, we have the Port, whoopsies. Next up, we have the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And yes, I pronounced that right. It's a very long name. I know, um, that hat was annoying me. So that is, this is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. It has a huge wing in the back there. It says Porsche on it. It says GT3 RS on the side. I really like the green look. It looks cooler. Um, all of them look cooler in um, person, but that is the Porsche. Oh, top speed of 200 to 210. I don't know exactly what it is. Next one, the fastest car in the collection. The 2016 Mercedes AMG GT3. Yes, they all have uh, somewhat long names. So this is the fastest car in the collection. I'll tell you that at the end. So it, as you can see there, it has the yellow outline on the rims. Look at that car, it's sick. Number 71, it, I don't know if you can see that, but it says GT on top of the 71. It has a massive wing. And then you're probably wondering what this is. If you are, it's a helmet, so like, it's not really on top of the drivers, but Hot Wheels do a better job. Just kidding, but seriously. Um, anyway, this should be moved up here more. 
but um, it's for like safety reasons. So if it overheats, the driver can pop this up and stick its head out and eject the helmet. So um, that is why that's there. But the top speed, now okay, I don't want to make this too long, but if you look up top 10 fastest cars in the world, this won't actually come up on there because I don't think they're sold to the public, but it is faster than, a Kod than the Koenigsegg Agera RS, which is the eighth or ninth fastest car right now, which is insane. This is 0.1 mile an hour faster at 288.9 miles per hour. That is so fast. That is so flipping fast dog. Next up, we have the slowest car in the collection. Now, this isn't my whole collection. If you saw the last video, the um, Hot Wheels collection, that would, that's a different video. This is just the 13 that are in there, but this is the slowest one out of them in real life purposes, not in um, Hot Wheels purposes, but this is the Aston Martin Vanquish. James Bond car, you might know it as. Uh, I love that red interior inside of it. And I like the blue, it looks good. Um, and this is my favorite group right here. Mercedes and Aston, I mean, look how good that looks. It looks amazing. But um, anyway, so this is the Aston Martin Vanquish, top speed of 150 miles per hour. That's still fast, but that's not that fast. This car is faster than this. Come on, Mastin, Aston Martin. I mean, yes, it's England, so, like, it's not going to be as fast as America, but still, come on. I mean, some cars are faster than American cars, like Koenigsegg, but anyways, you know, it should be a little faster. If I'm wrong on any of these, uh, please correct me, but that is the Aston Martin Vanquish. Next up is the McLaren F1. The McLaren F1 um, is the first McLaren. I have three McLarens in here. McLaren is my favorite car brand of all time. And McLaren has my favorite car. Actually, this one's number five for favorite cars. And then the other two are one and two. Actually, one and three. Anyway, this is the McLaren F1. Um, the only reason I don't like it as much as the other, other four, really, um, is because of the way that it's angled. I just really don't like it. But I also like Bugattis, but everyone likes Bugattis. So like, yeah, I really like the red rims. It looks cool. And the top speed for this car in real life is like 215, I wanna say, so it's pretty fast. I like the red there and just overall, what a stellar car. Next up is my dad's personal favorite. It's one of his favorite cars in real life. And uh, he really loves this one. This is the Porsche 918 Spyder. Look how sick this car looks. And this is um, a car that can flip so that it can have a roof. Oh, well, not in, in real life it does, but not in Hot Wheels because, you know, yeah. Anyway, so it has, I like the black with the red. So it has a red stripe here, red stripe here. And then on the sides, it has like that number four. Um, and then as you can see there, I can stick my finger in it, which means it's a convertible or in Ferraris or Ferrari. What am I saying? Ugh. In Porsche's terms of uh, speaking spider. Uh, I really like the name spider, but Porsche 918 spider. Another Lamborghini, the second of third in the whole collection. This is the longest name out of all of them and not really an award. Uh, I don't know if you could really tell what it is, but it's a Lamborghini Huracan LP622 Super Trofeo, AKA a Lamborghini Huracan uh, Super Trofeo, if you wanna add that too. So it has a pretty long front end there. Well, you can't really see it, but yeah. It goes out, what, quarter an inch, which is big for a Hot Wheel. That wing is ginormous, probably has the biggest wing too. Ooh, there's a few competitors. There's like five competitors. Well, maybe six, but. One of the biggest twinks. <laughs> Watch it be number six. Anyway, uh, that is the Lamborghini Huracan. I like the yellow with the white. It says the Lamborghini on the side, number 33. The back is really sick. Uh, this is not my favorite Lamborghini, but it's one of my favorites. Now, the 4 GT. I love the 4 GT. It's a 2016 4 GT race. So we're racing 2016 4 GT. Oh, top speeds, forgot. 200 miles per hour, 210 miles per hour. So uh, all of these have an average of 200 to 
210 miles per hour. Man, my neck just popped and cracked big time. That felt good. Um, anyway, the Ford GT, this is uh, another competitor with the biggest wing, and it does move, which is kind of cool. Um, it doesn't do that in real life, clearly. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. I like this design here. Uh, it has it on the real Ford GT. It's for aerodynamics, but it also looks cool. And I really like this. I just like the way that car, that Ford designed this car um, and then Hot Wheels did a great job producing it. That back is, oops, that back is sick. Um, you have the Ford logo there. Orange and black and white, I think I like it. I have another Ford GT exactly, white and blue. Picture of it right up there. Um, but I like this one better, which is why I put it in the collection. My dad likes that one better. Three cars left, by the way, so that was number 10. Oh, top speed, 200 to 210 miles per hour, somewhere in that range. Now, my favorite Lamborghini of all time. A lot of people like the Aventador, the Gallardo, the whatever, whatever. I, if you caught that right there, which uh, color doesn't really mean anything, this is a Lamborghini. Sesto Elemento. And the reason I like it is it's, it's a lot like a Huracan. I mean, it basically is a Huracan. That's why I like it. I don't know if you can see that, but all of those things back there, that makes it a V10. And uh, it can only have a V10. It can't it can have a V8, but it uh, really would. It wouldn't work. Neither would a V12. So uh, it kind of has to be V10, which is kind of disappointing. It can't be V12. Yes, V10 is a thing probably never hear it because at that point may as well just get a v12 it's only like five thousand dollars more and yeah that's a lot of money anyway um that is the lamborghini sesto elemento sorry about that hair there shoot got it um i literally i really like the front end and i like this pink it looks more pink in real life but um yeah you kind of get the point it has that pink there i like the black on black rims i think it really looks really cool not that these are rims in real life. I'm not reviewing a real car. Just, yeah. So that is the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Oh, yeah. Top speed, 200 miles per hour. And the final two cars. Both McLarens, by the way. This is my third favorite McLaren. And third favorite car of all time. This is the McLaren Senna. I absolutely love the McLaren Senna. This is another one with the biggest wing competitor. And this McLaren Senna is just sick. I think the orange looks really good on it. And then that rooftop, you can't really like see in it and it's just like full out black. I like the silver on black. You can't really see it too much. But uh, yeah, there's silver there and then black. So this is what the front end looks like. It's absolutely ginormous. I'd say it's a bit smaller than the Huracan. But this Mercedes front end, sorry real quick, is absolutely huge. Half an inch probably. Uh, that thing's huge. But GT and Mercedes clearly in the Huracan probably have a bigger front end. But in real life, Sana has one of the biggest, if not the biggest front ends out of any car in the world. Um, but this is the McLaren. Sana has a big wing, as I said. Um, and in real life has those Falcon whatever bird types of doors where they come up and not out. So they go whoop. Whoop, which if I can find a picture of, will be right up there. And if I didn't, yeah, you guys will tell. But that is the McLaren Senna. And the final one, my favorite car and McLaren of all time. This is the McLaren. Da, 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 da. Oh, top speed, 210. Da, 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 da. The McLaren P1. I absolutely love the McLaren P1. That was really long. I want my hat back. Stupid. Anyway, that's the McLaren P1. Um, has a pretty big win, but definitely not in the competitors. Actually, that's pretty small. Um, not in the competing of the biggest win. Top speed of 250, so it's definitely one of the fastest, but the Mercedes is still the fastest. Um, now this, this thing is huge. I like it or not big, I don't know. I'm at a loss of words now, but um, the reason I like it so much is I like this like bump here, and um, you're probably saying, then why don't you like the F1? I just don't. I, it's for some, it's weird, but uh, this bump, I really like it, uh, sponsored by Xbox. I mean, this 
video isn't sponsored by Xbox, but Xbox sponsored me. Anyway, that is the front. I really like the front. There's the back. Doesn't have too many details. It's just a Hot Wheel from the side. Nothing sick. And this one might not actually have the uh, doors. This is how the doors open. Again, if I could find it. Um, but this is the McLaren P1. It looks really sick. And um, I just thought of something. All of the real life pictures on all of them um, will be in real life. So the 13 cars, whenever I'm showing them, there will be a picture on screen of what they look like in real life. Well, not in real, real life, like when you see them, but on a picture. Anyway, that's the video, and um, I'm going to put them back in there and show you guys one last time. So this is what it looks like when it's all opened up from the front. And then when you come here, you can see all of the cars. So when you close it up like this, but you leave the door open, you can only, I mean, you can kind of see the yellow of the Lamborghini Huracan, but for the most part, you can only see the Ford GT, the uh, Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, McLaren Senna, and McLaren P1 GT Sesto GT. Oh my God, I cannot film right now. Uh, GT here, Sesto Elemento here, Senna here, P1 here, and then there's the Huracan in the distance. But um, yeah, that's basically the garage. So there's the thing to close it up. It's not very like stable and i've never closed this with one hand before oh yes did it and then to make it look like less obvious i try to make it look like somewhat even so it's kind of hard to break into it <laughs> break into it as if anyone's gonna break into it anyway but like this would be a pretty cool design and i'd change it up a little bit like and make this even and stuff but that would be a cool design for like a real life thing <laughs> shout out to the shelby cobra by the way is that cobra nice Anyway, oh, that's not how we Lotus. Lotus. Other Lotus. I have so many mirror cards. Other, other Lotus. But, um, yeah, those are the Hot Wheels that I have in there. And you might be saying there's some room right there in between the P1 and the end of the garage. But it's too small of a room. You can't fit, um, you can't fit a, what's it called? You can't fit another Hot Wheels in it. But that is the, um, Hot Wheels thing. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.